Welcome back to CCFC. Don't forget to join and become. Maybe you could be. Maybe you could become the 20th subscriber. The 20th? Jeez Louise. Jeezy peeps, my dudes. I'm having a big old scramble brain. Today on CCFC, we are ranking the best goalkeeper kits of all time. Is it of all time? I just sort of asked you on Twitter. That's where I sort of do these things and collate this information. So jump on Twitter and follow me. Everton 2011 12. Tim Howard, iconic in the goalkeeping game. But the thing about this photo is, is that where is he? I can't bloody see him. I just, it's just a floating head and gloves. It's a camo top. Do Everton have a big army presence? I don't know. Do they have any presents? Probably not, because they've been awful and they'll get cold for Christmas. On this kit, actually, I actually thought this one was always pretty cool. I think it might be because I like the color green. Because like, if this was like blue camo, I'd be like, hmm. Maybe not, but because it's green and I actually quite like it, I'm going to give it an 8. I reckon if you turned up to uh, an Everton game wearing that, people would be like, Oh, nice. Tim out. Yeah, nice. And that'd be good. England 95-96 is up next. And I don't think I'm going to be liked for this one. Mainly by Mr. Ellis Platten, friend of the channel. And hopefully a supporter as well. Because if he hasn't subscribed, he should bloody subscribe right now. And so should you. It's sort of well loved by a lot of people because it's like bad, but I don't think it has that bad good component. It sort of looks like like a 90s graphic of like on the front of a textbook about like G GCSE English literature or maths. That's the sort of graphic design I'm getting from this. And I don't have good memories of that. I don't know what's happened to my voice. It's just I've, I'm growing up. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Hello. Welcome back to Kieran. Co My voice is completely changed. This is a four. Manchester City, 95 96. I feel like we're going to have a lot of 95 years in this because it's the best year because this guy fell out of his mum. This is a, a template. I think there's maybe like an Everton one, a Chelsea one. There's quite a few, so you can ignore the badge if you don't like it. But I love it because it is obviously the best club in the entire world. Um, I don't like it. I know it says Manchester City. I know it's got the best badge you've ever had. Well, actually, I prefer the one with the, the, the fake parrot and three fake stars. I'm not liking the noise texture. I wouldn't wear that now as a fashion piece. I think you could because it's like, oh, brother, cool sponsor, cool badge, or 90s. But I, what is the design here, by the way? It's just, well, oh, let's do three lines. Are they just going random abstract for abstract's sake? Is there, I'm not I'm not seeing like a theme. Don't, like, and there's just like random bits of white in there, which does that go with it? The 90s was a weird time. Until this guy turned up. I'm sadly, I'm going to give this a, a two. I'd have it in a collection because it's interesting, but it's not pretty. It's not pretty. Everton 1996, 97, similar to their current one, which isn't made by Umbro, but this one was. So I'm confused about the legality of directly copying a pattern. I didn't know, can, can I do that? Can I just make that exact pattern? Is that fine? If you are a legal man, let me know. I think this is a good kit. I think this is a really good kit. It was also actually a template as well. It wasn't just Everton, there was a bunch of other ones. I think even the City had one, which I was surprised about. So I like the Illuminous Orange, that's what's really saying it for me. I think black and an Illuminous colour combined is it's just cool. I think there's is, is no way for it to be bad. I feel like this has the benefit of being seen nostalgically. Because you look at the current Everton one and you're like, I don't know. I don't think I like that. But I like this. So I'm going to give this one an eight. But there's a little asterisk because I'm like, is it me? Or is it the concept of time? Who knows? Very deep that for a football video about rating goalkeeper kits. Newcastle! 1995. Now I'm pretty sure Liverpool had the same template and probably a host of other clubs. But this is aided by the sponsor being Newcastle Brown Ale. It's, that's got to be one of the coolest sponsors for that relates to a football team of all time it's it's pretty impressive but the design now the design i think is cool but somehow i feel like this one has become so popular as a retro item that i no longer like it if you know what i mean 
So the problem I have is that I've fully realized that the only things I find cool are things that no one else has. All the clothes I buy are just like second hand and all the ones I repeatedly wear are ones that I've never seen anyone else wear because I have a second hand or I've just not seen anyone else wear them. As soon as I see someone else wear, wear something, I'm like, well, that's, that's dead to me now. That is actually dead to me. So scarcity. And I feel like I've seen this a lot. So I'm going to give this a solid six. It's good. Um, but I don't think you could wear it as a fashion piece. I'm like, oh, you got the one that everyone likes, that everyone's seen. All right, mate, but can grow up. Embarrassing. Be cool like me and go on pit side and wear your 95 Manchester City training top, which no one, no one else has. Just this guy. All right, just this guy. I've never seen it out in the wild. I've only seen one other one online. I am the guy. Manchester City 2019-20 shirt was sent in by Dan over at Retro Shirts, a big lover of the channel, which I didn't know how to describe it then. I could have said supporter. I'm going to say lover, you know? We have just over 15,000 subscribers, and in that portion, we have a fair few lovers. Dan sent in the Scott Carson away goalkeeper shirt, which was owned by the man himself for 90 minutes. Incredible. An actual shirt which was intended to be worn by Scott Carson. Because it'd be quite hard to get a Scott Carson match-worn Manchester City shirt, because there's probably only about two ever. Now we have the front of this shirt and Jesus Christ, this is one of the worst goalkeeper shirts we have ever had. It might be the worst. This Puma goalkeeper year was fucking horrendous. I've got this heart-shaped mug, okay, to remind me every sip that to put some love and positivity out into the world. But that looks like shit. What is the graphic, the random graphic? And the pink is too violently pink. You can't be full pink. You can have that bit of pink in essence. But to go full pink is like you're, you're dressed up for charity, mate. Charity. Oh, yeah, that's respectable. It, well, it is, actually. But um, unless you work for a charity and you get like 100 grand a year for doing fuck all. But I digress. This kit is obviously horrendous. We've all used our eyes now. And this is a solid zero. No redeeming factor about this kit, apart from the man wearing it, whatsoever. Someone sent in this Genoa kit, 2015-16, and I'm convinced at this point they were just, they were doing it for a laugh. This can't look good to anyone. It could look average to someone, but it can't look good. It's so tin pot, and I don't usually use the word tin pot, but it is clearly tin pot. Oh, let's put a picture of, you know, where, where we are. And then put it on the shirt. Fuck off. That is game changing, my friend. That has never been done before. And it is always done if it had been done before. I reckon it was always done very well and tastefully. It doesn't look really gimmicky and novelty. On screen now is whoever sent it in. And I just want to name and shame them because it's vile. And you need to get your eyes checked, Stevie Wonder. Newcastle are back in and they've had a fair few goalkeeper ones and it's 96-97 and now Kieran we've just established that just having an image of where you're from on your shirt is not a good shirt. A lot of people think it is but it's not a good shirt. However this is the exception to the rule. It can be done tastefully. They've even gone when you're taking a photo and you're like um why do I look like shit? The best tip is that everything looks great in the golden hours. Either sunset or sunrise. Boom. Newcastle know their stuff. It's like a half and half shirt and then they've got the silhouette of the city on it. And it's not the whole shirt. It would actually be quite cool if the, the sunrise existed on the sleeves as well. That would actually be pretty cool. But this is a good shirt and I reckon it's probably very hard to get your hands on. Very good sponsor included, although this, I've just noticed, this has a double silhouette. Inside the Newcastle Brown Ale logo, there is another silhouette which has blue. So it's the middle of the night, you've got, you've got the morning and the night in one shirt. And in between that, you've got a bunch of Geordies attacking horses and drinking far too much alcohol and dressing up as Saudi Arabian. 
people. That sounds odd. I'm gonna give this shirt a 9.8 out of 10. Juve 2003. Now you might be thinking, Kieran, this is atrocious, all right? Salmon pink and it's got abs on it. It's got pre-made muscles. You should already be muscly. Well, I am muscly. Look, huge, mate. Absolutely gigantic. So I wouldn't need this, okay? I wouldn't be, I'm not gonna show you my midriff. I, I, I don't need this, but some of you might need this. So this could be good. I actually do like this one, but it feels like a collection piece than one you would ever wear. I don't like the neckline. The neckline stinks, but the kit in general does remind me of Gigi Buffon and he is an absolute icon and I love him to bits. I quite like the Lotto badges. Sometimes I quite like something that just looks like it's been fucking stamped on there and ironed on. Sometimes I feel like it works. Old Juve badge slaps. Fastweb, great sponsor. A defunct sponsor, nothing better. I'm gonna give this kit a, I'm gonna give it a seven, but it's, you. I wouldn't wear it, but I would, I would own it, which is a, a, a funny position to be in. Australia, 97, 98. Well, I'm just gonna jump in here and let everyone know, this is obviously a 12 out of 10. And obviously no one has ever seen this before in their lives. This is phenomenal. Space, that's where I live. Now space for me is just a really cool thing and the concept of actually being alive is pretty cool so i like that this is combined with football and goalkeeping the only thing it's missing is a pint of guinness i think it's just fantastic isn't it i like the the subtle the subtle adidas stripes initially you're like oh is this an adidas oh it is it's got some little little free lines on it on the sleeves i think it's a really cool like it's like a, almost like a not like an oil painting but some sort of painting style i just think it is fantastic it really is fantastic because Imagine we got to a point where this world combined so well to everyone got along that we decided we should put a football on the moon. That's what we want. That's why we haven't been back to the moon again. Because we're like, what's the, what's the point if we can't take up a ball? A massive ball. Let's go up in a massive ball kicked by Erling Haaland. I don't know if that sounded like I didn't believe we went to the moon. We obviously went to the moon. And if you don't believe that, you are an idiot. Manchester United. Oh, we've gone from heaven to hell. Let's see if I have any positivity from my love mug. Hmm. Hmm. It's okay. Right, I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna be impartial here. I'm, I'm blocking out the badge. I like it. It feels a bit Sondico. I feel like I had a Sondico kit like this in uni for my five side team. A little purple one. I wonder if they still do it. If they do, here's an image. But I think it's. I think it's quite nice. I think so. A lot of these I sort of regard as are they are they good to wear to actually wear them? If they're just a collection item, then I sort of say if they're ones where I'm like, oh that's niche and cool, but I don't think I'd ever wear it. You know, you got to think of instances like festival or going on pitch side or just every single day. If you're like me, to be honest, I wouldn't have this. But if you happened to support the worst club in the world, which I detest, then maybe you would. I'm gonna give this an 8.5. I think if I saw Joe Tomlinson at a festival wearing this, that would be cool. Next up, we have this Fiorentina 1998-99 number. It's orange, it's black, it says Nintendo on it. It's Fila, all very good components, which would usually equate to a smashing kit. However, I'm actually going to give this kit a four. I oh, know. Now, the reason for the four is, is that despite all those components, I feel like this kit doesn't look old. It doesn't look 90s. The Nintendo logo isn't doing it enough for me to negate the fact that I feel like I could easily see that template now and it'd be like, oh, all right. There's nothing amazing about the shirt. And uh, yeah, quite sadly, it's a four for that reason. Next up is a Club America number, 1998 to 99. Why is the badge so big? You got the badge massive and you're like, mm, shall we do a graphic? Uh, yeah, just the badge again, but really big. So Coca-Cola sponsor's pretty cool. The big badge isn't putting me off too much. It's not the most ingenious design, but I reckon festival or general, you know, oh, that's cool, Kieran. What are you wearing there? 
Um, no, it's not Givenchy. It's Club America. It's nothing to write home about. You know, I'm not sending a fax, but if I did send a fax, it would have the number 7.5 out of 10 on it. Next up, we have AC Milan. And let me tell you now, I've just seen the little thumbnail and it's beautiful. Bosh. Whoa. AC Milan 97 to 98. Oh my God. It's going, this is just pissed off the 90s. This isn't 90s anymore. This is like, we are going into the new millennium. Let's watch The Matrix. This is fucking beautiful. I want this. This is fantastic. This is fan dabby dozy, my compadre. Opal. I don't even know what that is. I don't care because it looks cool. AC Milan badge. Ah, oh, wonderful. Lotto. Good enough. Wh what is going on here? It is fantastic. If I could make something that looked as gorgeous as it. If I made this and this was the only thing I ever designed. I would have completed design. I think this is absolutely fantastic right now. I don't know if just because I'm like, Y2K is back, but this would fucking slap on Instagram with like a with like a Y2K watch. You'd look cool if you stood on a really shitty estate and someone took a photo of that with a film camera. This is for me an 11 out of 10. There's not a single iota of a problem on this shirt. Next up, Jens Lehmann, Schalke, part of the Euro Fighters who won the UEFA Cup. Some people, all right, they might be like, Jens Lehmann played at Schalke? Yeah, he did, he also played at Dortmund, but he didn't score a goal for Dortmund against Schalke, did he? No, he did the other way around though, look, bosh. I did want this shirt for a while, I did, and that's why I've put it in here. No one sent this one in. However, upon finding this photo, my mind has changed. Sadly, it has a, a reflective crocodile pattern or snake pattern. Why would you go ruin it? I'll take the normal. To be fair, I've just realized I've just realized some hypocrisy from me. Look at this shirt. Look at this shirt. It was almost a good shirt. Okay, this is how I'd fix this shirt. Get rid of the, the snake pattern. I don't think that's cool. I really don't think that's cool at all at any point. I don't think it ever will be. I really like where the Adidas stripes are. I think that's a really interesting place to put them. I like the orange color. The collar, I don't like a collar that's suddenly like popping out of like a round neck. I reckon keep it round neck and I think you're better off. But then I don't think it'd be a banger, and I think I would only buy it because it says Schalke on it, and that would be true. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be brutally honest here, and this is a four because I don't think I'd even buy it if it became available. If it was available for like fifty, I, you know, I wouldn't because I specifically only buy retro stuff now that I know I will wear because what's the point otherwise? I I wouldn't wear that precisely because of the bloody snake skin. What are you doing that for, man? Poor Jens Lehmann. I've been your boy, Kieran. Don't forget to subscribe to CCFC and get to 20,000 supporters and hopefully 20,000 lovers. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.